All right, today on this bonus edition of the Mr. Peter Parker Show, Tito is on hiatus. It's cool. I got some serious Dawn with me. We're talking about VA. I'm talking about influences. We're talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. This Come is on going to be incredibly lit this afternoon. We sure. hear, we know VA is for hustlers. It is. I certainly. understand this. There's a history behind who you are, who's been around you, who came up. You know, like, you know, if we've listened to Hove or the clips, we've heard these guys at all, we know what's going on down there. You know, I'm an right. Allen Iverson fan. You Huge know what I'm saying? Fan, yep. Bubba, Bubba Chuck, orig- I like young Iverson. You know what I Chuck mean? Chuck is like, the man. Yeah. The man, bro, the man. So mm-hmm. kudos to you for the work you've put in. Um, I've been seeing your ads and the stuff you've been putting on Instagram for a while, and you Appreciate have a great it. flow, you have a vintage style. Um, talk a little bit about kind of where you're from, man. I want to get to know you. This is one of them episodes, man. This is a bonus thing. Gotcha. We're trying to figure out who this guy is. We keep on seeing on the gram. So, so how'd you, <laughs> how'd you come up, sure. bro? Talk to me, man. Man, started out Washington, DC, moved to Virginia, Dumfries, Virginia, but okay. I have lived in so many different places in Virginia. That's why I claim Virginia so yeah. hard because yeah. I've lived in Northern Virginia, Southern Virginia. You know, I'm really VA. I'm really the DMV, but I'm really okay. VA. I've lived okay. in Maryland. Yeah. You know, so I'm really the DMV, but I'm really Virginia. Very cool, man. So, uh, you know, like I said, Virginia's for hustlers, man. It always has been. You know what I'm saying? You either AI or you sling pies. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So that's where that came from. Yeah, Just man. growing up in that Virginia, that yeah. commonwealth and seeing people go, you know, you go, to, you go, to, you do one or two things, man. It's rarely, you know, something else, but it's different when you cross that border, when you're going from DC into Virginia and it just feels different. The way the police act is different. The whole shit is different in Virginia, bro. And anyone that hasn't been down there, yo, you cross that border, you're like, oh, I'm in the South now. This is like, oh, I feel a little bit. We're right on the edge of that shit. I lived out there for years in the DMV shot to my Maryland Mm -hmm. people, Baltimore, everybody, DC, everything. But like, nah, I, I can see that influence on the style and just the finesse of the way you're doing it. Talk us some talk about some of your like uh inspirations growing up. Well you have a very lyrical uh dope style bro like who who inspired this appreciate it appreciate it man early on I would say you know I was I was a young kid but I was always listening to Hove Nas you know A Z even back then I really couldn't understand the way I understand now. Right. But it's just what I preferred to listen right. to. Yeah, the radio, you know, stuff was cool, it was on the radio, but yeah, like man, 50, that, that get Richard Dot Try and change my life. X. Man, then you know, I was a I was a uh UG, huge UGK fan. You know, yeah, so I okay. listened to a lot of UGK. All right. Scarface. I know every Scarface song. Scarface is one of out. the best ever. And ever. top five, you know what I'm saying? You ever seen him live? Top Have you ever seen Scarface live? I haven't seen him live, bro. But we, you will we change had a, we it. We had a conversation. That that conversation, we had a phone conversation. That you, changed you my and, life. Oh wow! And I talked to Uncle Face, man, <laughs> for sure. Oh so. man, you have to see him live. When you see him, the way mm-hmm. he articulates his voice through the microphone is like very unique and rare. I it believe booms, it. Booms, bro. It voice I booms, it. and his the the um the confidence is like. It's mm-hmm. like he's floating, bro. He's one of the best ever, man. Okay, so Scarface fan. I, I see I see this now. Jay-Z, UGK, Scarface, this lyrical VA style. Sir. Yeah, I see this. I see, oh, oh, I, I see oh, this. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm a product of the Re-Up game as well. Of course. I grew up Re-Up game, Push, yes. Miles, all that. You know, Ab, Lock, man, Ab, everybody. So, yes, sure, yes. let's not yes. forget that. Yeah. I see uh, you had done a record with my guy, Stolly. Shout out to him. Um, oh, yeah. That's Shout a great to- combo. Oh. You guys you guys mm-hmm. look good together. That video is crispy. It looks Appreciate good. It. Appreciate um, it. Yo, before we get into the relationships uh-huh. even further, talk about your business model and the way you've attacked uh, social media. Because you, on, on mm-hmm. you were on my radar. And, and then when it was presented to me to do the interview, I was like, yes, I want to get to know this guy. You did the work before it came to me. Talk about this business model real quick. Well, you know, man, with the pandemic and everything going on, we just decided to take another route. You know what I'm saying? As far as we know, everybody's on their phones. Mm -hmm. Everybody's on Instagram, Facebook. So we decided to really get eyes on us going that route. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time, the shows, it it wasn't no shows open. DC wasn't really open at the time. Still kind of closed. Still kind of closed. So 
we decided, you know what, man, we're going to take it to the ground. We're going to go hard with these ads. I need to be seen. You know what I'm saying? I need to be seen. And also, I'm not really a huge outside guy. You know what I'm saying? I go outside and do that, but. I feel it. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's it was different. just a, it was yeah. a perfect combination to do that. And now that, you know, the world is seeing us, it's easier to really travel around and make moves and, and do shows here. And, you know, so it was just a, it was just a great choice by me and my team. Yeah, no, I see it. And, and and it's been consistent. And like, sometimes when you get kind of like hit with consistent ads and stuff, it can be annoying because the content right. doesn't really match up. Sure. But when the content matches up into shit that you like, and you see it, like me, I was really impressed at the consistency of what you were doing. You know what I mean? It Appreciate was like, oh, that. he's he's after this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, I, and the views were big, like it was working and the numbers were mm -hmm. working. And I know you have to kind of play against this algorithm because you're just gonna like, exactly. even if you got 50,000 followers, you could get jammed up because you're yeah. not playing the game the right way and not playing the game no, the right I, I see it I see it I see it I see it um okay we, I want to get to know you even better this is the get to know you episode oh. right We're, like this is regular guy shit we know you rap well I we know you work with you know cool artists you have great videos I think you're gonna do well in the music business I think you're on your way right like appreciate it yes sir it looks right you know what I mean mm -hmm. but who is sincerous dawn right who is this guy man yeah Who's, Fa fa favorite food, bro. Favorite food. Oh man, it's so many. Your go-to, like been, your comfort food, like you need, like I need this. I hate to say it, but right now it's still, it's still like a Chipotle. That's that's still my comfort go-to. Yes. You know. Yes. I'm hungry. I need a quick meal. Yes. Man, let me order some Chipotle. Let me yes. hit up Chipotle. Yeah, you know, okay. So I'm a DMV guy. We love our I know I know though it's lit out there. The line is long at Chipotle, bro. I'm oh, telling you. Goodness. All right, yes, all right. Sir. When when you're getting dressed, you're going out, when whatever you're mm -hmm. home, favorite color. Like what what's your favorite go-to color? I'm a I'm a black guy. You know, yeah. I've been switching it up lately, wearing lighter colors, but I'm still going with black. That's still my timeless, favorite. man. It's timeless. Yeah, yeah, me. Sure. I'm, I'm it's clean, it's classy, you know. 100 percent Favorite movie of all time? Ooh, it's so many, man. It goes from any, sometimes it's any given Sunday. Yeah. Other yeah. times it's Belly. I just watched New Jersey Drive. Great movie. Man, it's so many. But I, for right now, I go, I go with, uh, I go with Life. Life. Okay. All right. That's a, long, that's a long movie too. It's good, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great movie. All right. So are you, are you, you're from the DMV, so you got to be a sneaker guy. I'm going to pass judgment. Of course. Okay, right. So like everybody out there is the sneak. I tell people about the DC area. You do not come out there with no regular shit on your feet. Everybody no, you has sneakers of Jordans, foams. They called them dopes when I was out there. Like everybody mm -hmm. has. What's your favorite sneaker of all time? Man, um, probably I would say the one of my favorites is the flight posit. Mm. Air eggplants. Oh Still yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. My man wore them in college. Ooh. We played D3 ball. The the egg, yes, the flight posits. Yeah, I think KG wore those. Yeah. Let me show you. Can I show you a pair of sneakers I just bought? For sure. This is something I got recently. Let me see. In the other room. But look, this is the box though, right? The, it looks uh -huh. like the old box. Uh -huh. Air Max BW Violet Persians with the purple Ooh. and white with the white back. I was wearing them. I left them in the other room. I oh, should, but but listen, no, no, I'm a sneaker guy, big time. So that's cool. Um, yeah, DMV, just, we uh flights, yes. Pippins. I'm a huge Pippin guy. I always bring my Pippins out every fall. Up tempos, uh, like any sort up -tempos. of up tempos. Yeah, chunky sneakers, yeah. like big sneakers. Chunky yeah. joints, exactly. Yeah, most Look, definitely. Look, with the laces loose. Always, I never I haven't tied my sneakers it. in thirty years, man. Listen. Exactly. Um, favorite sports team? You know, I'm a Washington guy, so I root for the Washington football team. I root yeah. for the Wizards. I root yes. for the Capitals. Yes. The Nationals. Your you team. Keep everything hometown for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's that's smart. That's how I do it too. I was always raised like these are our teams. Like yeah, whether sure. they're good or they're you know bad or whatever. I go crazy for DC Cowboy fans. And, ah, Bro, that's something else. That culture is so unique. Like when you're driving on the highway, you're on the beltway and you see these flags and you're like, wow, it's really lit for them out there. Like it's a, it's an ideology. There's a certain type of a person that's a Cowboys fan from the DMV. 
for sure. Look, look at your face. You hate them. I, I, I have friends. I have friends, like best friends. Yes. Like, How are you like this, man? No, they're, they're, it's like self-loathing <laughs> or something. It's like unbelievable, yeah, bro. I don't know. No, it's crazy. All right, so favorite athlete of all time? Allen Iverson. Yeah, we talked about that. We talked about that. Chuck is so dope on so many levels. The the, the Georgetown days, you know what I mean? All the way up early, before the break, after the attack. Oh, my God, he's the best. All right. um, Favorite season? Are you a summer guy? Are you fall? How do you feel? Oh, certainly certainly a fall winter guy. Yep. I've been itching to bring out my 40 belows. Oh, like, my. Been, you got a nice yeah, pair? You got a nice pair? Of course. Woo. Of course. Yeah, you know, the layers and the jackets and shit. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, I'm yeah, a jacket, yeah. hoodie guy. I wear hoodies all year round. Me too. But, you know. Okay. It's, it's He's time. a fall winner. I know the vibe. And fall winter in D.C. is not that bad. In V.A. it's not that bad. You you could do a vest. You'll be straight. Exactly. You'll be straight. You ain't got to do too much. <laughs> the, fir- <laughs> the first year I moved there, I was like, oh, I just did a vest. It's unbelievable. Dude, I'm from yeah. so far north. Uh, Boston was south. You understand? Like, so it's cold. You, know, you guys have it nice down there, man. Very nice. Sure. All right. Favorite city outside of the DMV area? Mm, um, I'll say... It's always been, this is the first place I ever went to out of, you know, like got on the plane, Mm -hmm. Seattle. Wow. I love Seattle. Never been. What? Never been. I've never been. I have my grandmother's from up that part of the country, Uh but I've never been up there. Northwest. Never. I heard it's different. You gotta go, bro. You gotta go. It's it's, it's beautiful. The people are nice. Yeah. Um, The smoke is good. I was saying they smoke it big up there. It's big. Smoke is good. Um, I just, I like the feel. It, and it might rain. It might rain for a week straight, but I like that. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And currently in your life, Who's your favorite person in your life right now, man? It's always my mother, man. Always. Special, She's always man. my number one. I'm a mama's boy, man. It's cool, though, man. It's great Girl, to have, have that relationship, head. man. That sure. relationship is... My mother is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, no, it's a wonderful thing. That's, that's very, very cool, man. All right, so are you going to continue with this kind of, like online agenda are you dropping an album are there more videos like what is what what are you on right now so the next step i think i think we kill we kill online and um mm-hmm. you know i got a lot of shows coming up i can't name them yet i got i'm going i'm going on tour with some you know some big name guys oh okay cool uh, are people reaching yeah. out to you because of what you're doing is like is there activity oh, from sure. this yeah for sure for sure yeah. reaching out um we entertaining you know we entertain a label whatever Right, Whatever distribution about, you know, deals and distribution things. Deals. Yes, yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to anything. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not one of those guys like, yeah, label, stay away from me. I'm staying independent. I'm not one of those guys. I'm gonna, you know, if if the situation presents itself and it's better for me and my family going forward, you know, we're gonna do it. Okay, so a- answer me this, right? So like, mm-hmm. you you start off making music when you're young. It's, yes. you, it's good. You, you're feeling mm-hmm. it. The numbers are a certain way. You first start putting it out. It's like the numbers are like they fledge you. They're like it's like it's like mediocre. But you know your right. music is better than the numbers, right? Exactly. You make the investment into marketing, not mm-hmm. buying stuff, but just promoting what you're doing to people. For sure. Right? You're doing that. Then you see a switch where people who want to do business with you. Are you seeing opportunities when you independently grow your numbers where companies are saying, yeah, I want, I like what you're doing. Let's add on to that. Is that what the business is? That's what the business is for me. That was always, that was always the number one thing for me. So I feel mm-hmm. like as time goes on, I mean, it's a numbers game, honestly, right. You know, it's a numbers game these days. Right. So, right. We wanted to make sure that the we we knew the music was you know what it was, but it was just like right. let's get more eyes, let's get the numbers, so they can't you know they can't they can't deny me. I wanted to get it so they can't deny me straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of activity on the social media. That's why I'm like bigging you up because right. I'm like trying to figure out what the next step is for you because I see I it. I'm like, I'm like you know, when you look at video clips, like thirty five thousand views. I, I kind of know how you got there, but it, it it definitely looks really, really healthy as far as the interaction. Dude, you're mm-hmm. on your way, man. It, it's it's cool to connect Appreciate with you, it, brother. To, for to sure. Hear, to hear in your thought process on this stuff because I think independent artists are watching you. You know what I mean? Because you're you're pushing. You're like pushing your product. You know what I mean? 
And a lot of them hit me up. You know, I get I get DMs from artists like, bro, how you know, how can I grow the way you've grown? And you know, right. I try to I try to message everybody back. You know what I'm saying? I try to be a genuine dude. Like I'm not too big for the moment where I'm ignoring people, man. I, I talk to everybody in my DMs. Yeah. You know, some people just right. want to talk about life. And if I got the time, let's right. do that, man. Right, right, right. But I just we talked, I put a post up saying we were gonna talk, and a friend of mine, the homie Juice Lord, just hit me like, yo, I gotta get on a track with him. And I'm like, to see that activity of hit people me up, from, man. from St. Sure. Paul, Minnesota, things, they like see what you're doing. It's like it's really working on a national level. So Oh yeah, cool. brother. That's props another to you. Yep, that's another thing, brother. Like, it'd be so many people reaching out from here, there, places yeah. I never even cool. thought of. I'd be like, wow, I got fans out here. That's dope. Yeah, it really, it's changed the game from a mm -hmm. regional game to, like, whatever right. your style is. You can find the people in Seattle. You can find the people in Minnesota. You can, and you don't have to leave wherever you are in yeah. VA with your family and create your business, sell things. You know what I mean? It's a hack. I'm telling For you. Sure. I'm, can I show you something else? I'm a collector yeah, right? yeah. and I'm a hip hop yeah, right? So look, we celebrated 20 years. We talk about VAs for hustlers. When he said I used to dribble down in VA, mm. I, I had to get the blue CD, right? Like you're saying Ooh. what I'm on over here? Like, look at this. And I just want to show you like the craftsmanship of how they used to do things. Look at this with the little insert is like blueprint paper. Oh my goodness. But the wow. ins, it's really a this is I and got that's this, how that's the original joint. That's how yeah, the original joint. This, this is the 2001, right? So this is the boom with the whole inside, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everything. But I this is this is something I had to pick up for the 20 year anniversary. It's my favorite you album. To. You right? had to. Also today, Sincere Storm, five year anniversary of magnificent coloring day that happened over there, US uh, cellular field. This is when Kanye rushed the thing and everyone ran on the field. Wow. With, with Chance had that big show with everybody. Yeah, we was out there. So just, you know, five years today, man. Hey, Peter, you, you're you a part, you, like I said, man, you always a part of hip hop history, man. <laughs> well, I look at it like, sure. like I do look at it like um almost like an encyclopedia in a way when mm -hmm. the old high school, when you'd walk in and there's all those books, I think of it like, oh, today is like the chapter towards the end, but there's a whole rack of books in front of me. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. And I, sure. I think of that like De La Soul. I was listening today happens to be the 30 year anniversary of a Tribe Called Quest low end theory drop today. Mm. So this is like, I'm listening to this all morning. I'm listening to your music. I'm making peanut butter sandwiches over For here. Sure. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, bro. Yo, we'll congratulations, man. Congratulations to you and, and salute to you. Let's connect soon and, and maybe we'd get a record done or something, you know? What? Anytime, brother. Anytime. My G.